All right, so if you're in an architectural file and you try to draw a pipe, right, it only has one type of pipe type and it's default and it'll let you draw like one pipe, right? So if I draw a pipe in there, I've got one pipe. But if I come in and try and draw a pipe and then turn a corner, it just says no. I can't do that. So what we have to do is use a mechanical template and get the piece, the um, pipe type in that we want. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let me close this guy and I'll start from scratch, is I'm going to go to File, New, Project, and I'm going to open an Imperial Systems template and click OK. So now I have two Revit files open. I'm going to go back to the architectural template, go to my Manage tab, and go to Transfer Project Standards. And I'm going to check None, and I'm going to go find all the piping stuff. Right. So I'm going to come down and go, I'll just get everything. We probably only need the pipe types, but I'm just going to get everything. Um, and click OK. And just click OK and new only and it'll bring all of that stuff in and now when I go to the systems I can go to pipe and instead of default I can come in and pick you know chilled water standard or PVC because it's land it's loaded all those in so I'll just go to standard and um, set it at three quarters and now I'm drawing at three feet so it'll draw in and then I can come in and let's put it at five feet Right, and it'll now draw a piping system for me, right? And it should have all the fittings in there that I need, right, to um, to work with the system, right? So you can go in and draw that, and then if I go to shaded, looks like that. If I go to realistic, right, it looks like that. This guy um, is a standard pipe, and so if I go to edit type, and go to the routing preferences. There's the pipe segment, right? And so um, it's copper, right? You can change it to different copper types. And if I go to the per for junction T or tap, all that's in there. But if I go and pick this and edit The, um, the problem with the material, sorry, I took a minute to figure it out, was that the material in here, this is actually copper, right? But it's showing it as gray even when I go to realistic. And that's because if I go to my manage and my materials, the copper in here is actually doesn't have copper on it, right? If I go to graphics and appearance, it does not have a copper on it. You can come down to... Um, do copper up at the top and it'll give you a copper from the library that actually does have the copper on it or you can get like copper with patina but I'll push this one up and it'll say keep both or replace and I'll just go to replace and click OK and so that will go to the copper. We talked about how to get these guys um, to be copper. Um, I had to go to the edit family and pick that form and put a material on it. So I'll just put elbow mat and click OK and click OK and then load that into project. This guy, right? And overwrite the existing version. And then I can pick it. Whoops. Not move it off, but just pick it and edit the type and change this to copper, right? Click OK and click OK. And now all the Elbows will go to copper. You'd have to do the same thing for the T and for the X, right? And so that's kind of how you get the copper into here. Um, the other thing you can look at is if you needed to do some kind of curving pipe, you could do a flex pipe or um, do a sweep as a model in place. So if I do a flex pipe, um, let's see, where is it sitting at five feet? Let's set it down at three feet right? It will do, and we'll do a three quarter inch for that one as well. It will do, right, a flexible pipe, 
so you can kind of, you know, twist it around itself. Um, it does segment it. So if I hit enter there, right? Oops. There's that guy, right? So, um, Unfortunately, I don't know how to make this have a different material. I don't even know what material is on it. Um, so that's a little bit of an issue. You could do model in place and do a um, and do a sweep if you wanted to do a curved pipe. So those are your options. Um, I hope that helps. All right.